I was constantly worried about everything, working 10 times harder than everyone around me just to do the same as them. Lists, reminders, alarms, alarms to set alarms, calendars to plan for other calendars. Clearly, I had anxiety, right? At least that's what everyone around me always thought. They always just thought I was way too worried about getting stuff done. And the thing is, my track record showed that I always was able to get stuff done on time. So why was I so worried? But the thing that always stumped me is that no matter what I did to improve my anxiety, it never got better. And I stayed that way until one day I realized I think I have ADHD. This connection happened one day in my mind when I was reading a research paper for fun, as you know, I don't really have a social life or friends, and I came across this really cool quote in a research paper. It appears that the prevalence of anxiety disorders is relatively common in those with primary ADHD, but ADHD is less common in those presenting with a primary anxiety disorder. This first piqued my interest because anxiety is way higher in the ADHD population than in the general population, and I decided to research a little bit more and understand why. And then I came across this second study, and this was the quote that really changed my life because I resonated with it a lot. Results suggested that anxiety symptoms function as a compensatory factor for inhibition abilities longitudinally for children with higher ADHD symptoms. This is one of the first studies to provide evidence for compensatory effects of anxiety symptoms on EF functioning for children with higher ADHD symptoms. Nuanced considerations of this compensatory effect are discussed given how this effect may promote compensation in EF abilities but could confer negative effects for broader aspects of functioning. So for those of you who have a life and don't constantly read psychology, papers, what this basically means is that anxiety was able to kind of compensate for executive functioning difficulties in people with ADHD. What does it mean to struggle with executive functioning? Well, I asked ChatGPT, and here are some things that it lists as executive functioning difficulties. A difficulty with starting or completing tasks. Difficulty planning or making decisions. Difficulty prioritizing tasks. Difficulty remembering things. Difficulty switching focus from one task to another. Difficulty managing time. Difficulty motivating yourself to do something that doesn't interest you. In other words, this is basically just having ADHD. ADHD. And while this study is very limited to say the least, one of the interesting things that we can see is that anxiety is able to regulate everything pretty much that people with ADHD suffer with, except for the inability to focus and emotional dysregulation. And this very closely aligned with my personal experience with ADHD. I was able to compensate for things like time blindness or the inability to motivate myself and procrastination by stressing myself out a lot, using tons of lists and constant reminders so that I wouldn't forget about deadlines and I'd constantly be stressed and on edge about everything everything I needed to get done. But the thing is, all of these things could never compensate for my inability to focus and my emotional dysregulation, which is super common in people with ADHD. And due to this, I developed really difficult substance abuse issues in order to cope with this. Because the thing is, is the only way I could get stuff done was if I was constantly stressed. But the thing is, even stress sometimes was not enough. And that's where I turned to a few drinks, excessive amounts of caffeine, a bit of the devil's lettuce, if you will, and many other different things as well in order to help myself focus, get myself back on track, or to emotionally regulate the emotions that would so quickly spiral out of control. Because I had no idea that I was struggling with ADHD, self-medication became the only way for me to really cope with these symptoms. And after a while, it became impossible to deny that it wasn't just anxiety. I had to have something else because everyone else around me who had anxiety, the stuff that's supposed to fix your anxiety, fixed their anxiety. And my anxiety still sucked ass. So why was this? It first started to hit me when I realized all of my friends had ADHD. Pretty much every single person I got along with really well was neurodivergent. And they were the ones who first started pointing out all the weird ADHD things I did. I always watched YouTube videos on two times speed. I had little to no patience for anything. I was constantly stressed about exams and no matter how hard I tried, I would always only really be able to study in the last two days before it happened. Even though I technically would work on projects until the day they were due and give myself ample time to get them done, I got almost no progress done until the last few days. And when I did try to make progress before that point, I would literally fall asleep from how bored I would get and I just wouldn't be able to do anything. And thank God for my friends because they all kept urging me to get tested for ADHD to see if I actually had it because they saw me going through the same exact struggles that they did when they were kids. And then I finally did. I finally went, I got tested and it turns out, yep, I did have ADHD this whole time. And that absolutely changed my life. The first biggest life-changing thing for me was medication. When I got on medication, it was insane how much of my anxiety evaporated overnight. I never ever realize how hard it was for me to focus on stuff until I got on medication. And I thought, this is what it's like for everyone all the time. I could just sit down to do a task and be confident that I would be able to get it done. I wouldn't really have a hard time sitting still for an hour or two in order to accomplish something. Before I got medicated, I remember it was so hard for me to even focus for an hour straight on a single task. And I would have to have every hour of the day devoted to a different thing or else I would get really bored. But now it's super common for me to focus on something for like three or four hours straight and have absolutely no issue. And that 
that alone has made me so much more stress-free. I'm not constantly worried about meeting deadlines on time. I don't constantly need to self-medicate anymore. And because I'm not so stressed, it's easier for me to do things like eat healthier, spend time with my family, spend time with friends, and to not be so irritable at everyone around me all the time because I was constantly near burnout. And on top of that, the existing coping skills I had just became way more strong. If you thought that this video was helpful, check out this video right here. I have a ton of tips that I talk about that can especially help you if you are unmedicated because this is how I manage my ADHD pre-medication. There's another video down here if you specifically want to learn how to focus better. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're still here, comment down below your experience with this as well. Tell me about what's happened in your life and how this has affected you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Good luck on your journey and take care.